Hello, this is Alia Rang from Quick Analytics. Today we are going to learn how to create a project directory in R Studio. So let's get it started. <clears throat> to create a project directory, you go to File, then select New Project. I usually come here in this drop down menu and create new project, but let's go to File, New Project then it's um this is a new folder that we are going to create so say new directory it's a new project and let's call it uh, okay so let's say project directory just say project dir and I will put it on desktop so let's put it on desktop and create a, uh, a git repository use um, advent renvent uh, the R environment no this is just an example so i'm not gonna add it as a git repository then create a project <clears throat> so now we are in our project if i say for example let's say here and then here and then this is the directory we are in here so now what we will do is create a project so go to the drop down menu here or markdown let's say um, this tutorial uh, let's say how to create a project directory in our studio and then we will name this one so how to create a project directory in our studio so we save this but in this directory we don't have any folders so let let us not save it yet but to come here this is where we will load this is where we will load the libraries that we are going to use and so i need to modify this area so we are going to suppress messages We are also going to suppress warnings. And I'm going to line this one up. Then I'll come here and I'll say libraries. Of course, tidyverse. and i think tidyverse is the only package that i'm going to use now so let me run this the whole thing okay and then i will delete everything below it and let's say creating project directory in R uh, insert a code chunk and then what I will do I want to create the data folders so I will use the FS package and I'll say there's create a directory 
and we don't have anything here but what i want to do i'll create one folder for restoring the data so let's create it and we have it here and another thing we will do so let me just copy this one i want to add two more folders sub uh, directories or folders to that data or zero zero underscore data folder one where i will store rank uh, raw data and let's see if we have created that we have added that and we need another one where we will store wrangle data data that we have already cleaned okay and then i need to create a direct or a folder where i will store my scripts and i'm just going to call it r you can call it scripts or r and it is here so basically these are the folders that we are going to start with then we are done with this part so i'm going to add another chunk code chunk and i will do just one example to demonstrate because the main objective of this tutorial is to show you how to create a data science project uh, directory in our studio so let's say um I'm course I think I'm course yeah empty cars data is available in R it's already available here in our studio so we can take this and maybe do something just some example so let's say empty cars table and i'm gonna subset this data maybe i'm just gonna select two columns mpg and maybe weight so select desire columns and we'll select those mpg and wait now let's see this is our data here we have only these two columns and a column with the names so now since we have created the folders we can now save our scripts uh, in r now uh, we will put them here and we will say uh, maybe say analysis or yeah analysis let's say yeah just say analysis this is just an example it's good to have like a descriptive uh, more descriptive name but since this is just an example i'm just going to call it an analysis and this is the script these are the scripts here in this uh, file so our markdown file and so what we could have done we can also view this data by using the function view and it will pull it up here or we simply come and click here but since like we had already done but since i'm using uh, view function it won't show up there so if we have like this then we can come here and do this um, another thing we can do is we can glimpse it and this will give us a view of the column types like column data types so on both since we have selected mpg and weight these are both uh, double 
or numeric columns and maybe if this is what we wanted then we can now save it so let's save the data we can save it as a csv file or rds file so if we want to save it as um csv file so that's not how we do it so we say write underscore csv and this is using the read r package in tidyverse and so we can do this but if we do that you know we have to go up twice and that will take us into the data and then we need this is an example of a, a wrangle data so we would save it here and we will say okay empty empty cars maybe clean something like that Devolt underscore csv okay so something is not quite and the reason so this is saying error and write underscore lim which is the limiter and is dot uh, is dot data dot frame x is not true so i have not included the file that we are going to save so that's why it is throwing that error there and now that should be good we have it there let's say that the empty uh, the empty cores is our original raw data set if it is our raw data set then we can save it so i can just do this one and say write underscore or ds as a, or an RDS uh, file and then we go in here we go into raw because this is the original data set that we have not yet uh, transformed and i can say this one underscore original underscore csv no rds rds and saved it and then let's go and check and it's right here uh, so basically this is how you create a project directory in r studio uh, i like using the fs package and it is um, an efficient package that comes in any when you are creating uh, file directories all right i hope this you find this one help helpful uh, please as always like share comment and let us know how we are doing also let us know if there are any topics that you are interested in that we want us to cover but our goal today was just to show you how to create a project directory when you create a project directory you don't have to worry about setting file directory or doing things like that because you are working your work is contained or confined to that only directory there is nothing else outside that you uh, that can interfere with what you are doing in your current directory thank you uh,